In this video, I'm going to solve a Cournot equilibrium problem uh, from a duopoly. A duopoly is a market with two firms. Often, this, this problem has identical firms. In this one, the firms are slightly different. So we're going to solve for how many units each uh, producer will produce when this Cournot part means that they're selecting quantities at the same time. So we're going to try to figure out what the quantity and the price is in this market. So a couple things to note uh, initially we've been given an inverse demand function here um, big q is going to equal q1 which is the quantity of firm one plus the quantity of firm two so just to to think through what's what's happening here in this kind of market if firm one produces nothing then the market quantity will be whatever q, firm two decides to produce firm one uh, also has this situation going on. So if firm two produces zero, then they will be the entire market. It's not going to be the situation, but it's a way to start off thinking about it. Okay. Um, we've got two cost functions. So these are written as cost functions. So we want to, we want to just convert those into marginal cost function by taking the partial derivative with respect to Q1 for the first one, and that's going to be two. And then we'll take marginal cost of the second one, which is the partial derivative with respect to Q2, and that's three. Okay. Now, uh, basically, we've just got a, a profit maximization problem for both uh, firms, which means I want to find the marginal revenue equal to marginal cost of the first firm, and over here, the marginal revenue of the second firm equal to the marginal cost of the second firm. So here we go. Okay, so to get the marginal revenue, I need the uh, total cost function, so to I'm sorry, total revenue function. The total revenue for the first firm is going to be uh, this right here. It's going to be price times quantity one. So it would be 1,000 times Q1 minus um, one. Actually, let me let me pause for a second and write this um, uh, inverse demand function a little bit clearer. What the Inverse demand function really is, is it's going to be price equals 1,000 minus Q1 minus Q2. That'll, that'll be important a little bit later on. So writing it that way, uh, our total revenue and multiplying a quantity on every, every part of this function here, quantity 1 minus quantity 1 squared minus quantity 1 quantity 2. Okay, now I want to take the partial derivative with respect to Q1 for this. This will give us our marginal revenue function. So it's, this first part is a constant. This is 2Q1 minus Q2. Okay, there's our marginal revenue function. Now let's set that equal to our marginal cost function. And this is going to give us something called the best response function. So MR1 equals MR2. So MR1 is this long thing. It's all going to equal 2. So we're going to do some rearranging here. We'll send this guy over there. It becomes 998. And we'll send this to stay over here. We'll send this guy over there to quantity 1. Okay. And I want to get this function so that it's all a matter of quantity one, what quantity one is going to do. So we're going to divide through by one half. So one half there is 499 minus one half Q2. You could write that as 0.5 if you wanted to. It's all up to you. Okay, so this is our best response function here. Let's do the same thing way over here. And I'll just rewrite this again. So this would be 1,000 quantity 2 minus quantity 2 squared, quantity 1, quantity 2, marginal revenue for firm 2, 1,000 minus 2Q squared, uh, two, not 2 squared, not 2, see that gets a little tricky the way that's written. It's 2Q2, or the quantity of firm 2, and then minus Q1, that's our marginal revenue there. Set that equal to our marginal cost. So marginal cost is three. Um, at the end of the problem, there's going to be a difference. OK, 
because this firm has a lower marginal cost than this firm. So we actually know that firm one's going to produce a little bit more, not, probably not much, but when the costs are different, you can see whoever has the higher marginal cost is going to produce fewer units. So this is 1,000 minus 2Q2 minus Q1. We do some rearranging like we did over there. Okay, and then we're going to divide through. Oh, I did that too early. It's thinking ahead in my head. Okay, and 997 in half is a funky number that I've forgotten. 997. It is 498 and a half. Four. 498. Where am I? Where's my cursor there? 498.5 minus one half Q1. Okay. All right. Now I've got my two best response functions, and I can just plug one into the other because it's one firm responding to what the other firm is going to do. And that'll tell us how many units uh, one of the firms will produce. So let's do Q2. Okay. Q2 is. 498.5 minus one half, and then we're just going to plug in this function here into right into right there. Okay, so we'll do that. It's 499 minus one half Q2. Okay. And so now um, I've got Q2 equals 498.5 minus one half of that. So one half of 499 is 249.5. 249.5 minus, nope, minus and a minus is a plus. Uh, one fourth Q2. We're going to send that guy over there. So now this becomes 0.75 Q2. And then this and this is 249 again. Back to 249. 249. Okay, we're going to divide both sides by uh, 3 fourths. So 249. Divided by 0 0.75 is 332. Okay, that's long, a lot longer than Monopoly problem. Okay, so 332 is the number of units that firm two will produce. Now for firm one, we're just going to plug in that number into our best response function. So it's 499 minus one half 332. Okay, and we do all that together and we get 333, okay? So the total market is gonna produce, we're back up to this thing here. Uh, the total market would produce this many units and now we can just get the price. So this is pretty easy. So the price in the market is gonna be 1,000. You could add them together if you want, but it'll be 333 minus 332. And this is going to give us $335. And so 35 is the price. So that's the solution to this game. It takes a while, but just to recap the steps. Okay, so it's good to set up your um, inverse demand function for the entire market, find both marginal costs, find both marginal revenues. Set the marginal revenue for the first firm equal to its marginal cost and get a best response function. Do the same thing over here for the uh, other firm. Then once you've got the two best response functions, plug, plug one of those that you don't know into the other one. Solve for whatever it is, that'll give you half the market. Then you can just take that number, plug it into the best response function, gives you the other half the market. 
plug them both into the inverse demand function and you get the price.